Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today I am here visiting Volcanoes National Park here on the Big Island of Hawaii. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are visiting Volcanoes National Park, home of two active volcanoes and amazing landscapes that you just have to see for yourself. The goal for today is simple, to tell you a little bit more about this place and to show you around so that you know what you'll find if you choose to visit. So if that interests you, come with me. So we have just arrived here at the park. As you can see, the visitor center is right there behind me. This place is usually the first stop for many visitors as it offers a great introduction to the park. My goal for today is simple, to share a few of my personal recommendations if you only have one or two days to visit. So if that interests you, come with me. The first location we are visiting today is the Kilauea Overlook at the summit of the Kilauea. This overlook right here provides amazing views of the Kalua Pele, which is also known as the Kilauea Caldera or the Kilauea Crater, which is this huge crater that you see here in front of us. My camera cannot do it justice because it is so wide and massive. Check this out. That is crazy. In addition to the Kilauea crater that you can see here, you can also get some good views of the Halema Umau crater. That is that deeper crater that you can see right there where the steam is coming out from. I zoomed in just a little bit so that you could take a better look, but the steam is picking up and making things hard to see. Check that out. It shouldn't be a surprise to know that this volcano is still active. I mean, today I've already mentioned multiple times how there's volcanic steam and gas coming out of the Halema Umau crater. Lava is present, but if you can see right here, this section of the volcano is blocking the view from this angle. It is possible to see lava, but for that, you would have to go to the opposite side of the volcano to another overlook in that direction. If we have time, I'll make sure to visit the other overlook in that direction. But for now, I want to check the other overlooks right here. You can see one right over there, and I've seen people also walking in the opposite direction. So let's go check them out. So this is the second overlook that you will have access in this section of the park. I've seen people walk that way, but I didn't see an overlook in that direction. So these are the views that you get from this overlook over here. I guess you can say that we are closer to the Halema Umau crater, but really the views that you get here are very close to the ones you get from the other overlook right over there. Still, it's pretty cool to be able to say that we are getting closer to an active volcano. For now, we are done with this section. I strongly recommend that you check the Kilauea Overlook. There's a reason why it's considered to be like the number one spot that you have to visit here at Volcanoes National Park. I mean, you are literally looking into an active volcano. What more can you ask for? We are almost at the second stop that I want to take you today. I would like to take you to another crater, but one where you can actually walk on. That sounds cool, right? I just parked my rental car. There is a 15 minute hike that you have to complete in order to get to the crater. That doesn't sound too bad, so let's go. Isn't it so cool how when we are back at the Kilauea Overlook, the environment looks so different to what it is now? Right now, we are literally walking through a rain forest, which is fascinating and wild at the same time. 
And just like that, you guys, we have made it out of the forest and into the Kilauea Iki Crater. Check this place out. It looks massive, so take some time to admire this place. It is kind of funny that this place is called Kilauea Iki because Iki means small. So this is a small Kilauea Crater, but we can both see that this place is huge. So we have made it down from all the way up there and what I want to do is go straight to the center of the crater. So let's go into the crater to the center like I said and as we do this I like to tell you a bit more about this place. This place might seem peaceful today but if you go back to 1959 this place would have been a lake of lava. Could you imagine that? like being at the edge of the crater and just witnessing this lake of lava, that would be crazy. In 1959, Kilauea Iki actually erupted. And today it is considered one of the most spectacular eruption events of the 20th century. After that eruption event, the lava began draining back into the vent. And fast forward to today, the Kilauea Iki crater is completely solidified. That does not mean that the Kilauea Iki is completely dead. In fact, magma is still pulsating throughout the volcano, meaning that eruptions could potentially occur in the future. The more you know. So here we are, you guys. We have arrived at the center of the Kilauea Iki crater. At least these are my best estimates. But yeah, the views that you get from here are truly amazing. I'll show you in a second, but if you let your imagination run wild, you can almost picture how this place used to look not too long ago. Could you imagine this place completely red and orange, full with lava? That is, that is crazy to think about, and it is wild that we can say that we visited this place today. So here you go, guys. This is the view that you get from my current location. Check that out. We can go all the way around 360 style. I'll show you in the first person point of view as well. Let's go around town fairly slowly so that you get a good view. Check out how beautiful and amazing this place looks. Hey you guys, we have made it back here to the parking lot. I came back because the next location that I want to show you today is conveniently located right across from the same parking lot. So that is right, you can access both the Kilauea Iki Crater as well as the next location of today from the same parking lot. It is worth noting that this area is very popular for obvious reasons. So in order to get a parking spot right here, you have two options to arrive here at a very early time like I did or to be lucky, which I'm definitely not. And bam, this is what I wanna show you guys next, the Thurston Lava Tube, otherwise known as the Nahuku, a journey inside an active volcano. That is right, you guys, the plan is to take you inside a 500 year old lava tube. It sounds so cool just saying it, so let's go and check it out. Check it out, you guys, we have made it here. That is the entrance to the lava tube. Let's head inside. And as we go inside, you guys, this sort of looks like a cave. And check it out, you have to walk on this bridge right before the entrance. That is kind of sketchy. Check it out, you guys. Can you see how they made an effort to keep this place lit up? It is still very hard to see. And as you can hear, this place is very quiet and echoey. I can hear my voice projecting all over this place. And check it out, that is the entrance over there. And um, as I said before, this tube was formed by a river of lava. The lava gradually built the walls on both sides as well as the ceiling 
up here. And after the lava flow stopped, it left this empty cave, as you can see right here. All right, you guys, I want to do a little test and go silent just for a little bit to show you how quiet this place can get. Okay, let's go. It does get very lonely at some points. So if you don't do good in dark places or in caves for that matter, then you should probably come with someone so that you don't feel alone or scared. And check it out, you guys. If you turn to the ceiling, you will see these things. I'm sure there's some kind of root or something like that but they do look weird whenever you see them in complete darkness. They look like some sort of tentacles or something. And as I mentioned before, this place is illuminated. As you can see, there are lanterns throughout your walk. There's one, there's another one, but it does get dark. So they do recommend for you to bring your own flashlight just so that you don't step on the wrong thing or hit yourself on the head here. I don't know what else to say about this place, you guys. Honestly, I don't think there's much else needed to be said. It is a really cool location. So if you ever visit Volcanoes National Park, definitely make some time and visit the Nahuku. The tube itself is not really that long. As you can see, we have already made it to the other side. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what's out this way. When you make your way out of the tube, you will be greeted by some benches and this beautiful rain forest. I think with that you guys we can say that we have successfully and fully experienced the Nahuku. Definitely a cool place to check out. For now let's head to our next location. All right, you guys, so the last thing I had planned for today's video was to actually see lava. I don't know about you guys, but one of the bigger attractions that I considered when making my plans to come here was to see lava. At the visitor center, I was told that there are two main overlooks to do this, but the closest one is at Kanakako'i Overlook. So I made my way to the Kanakako'i Overlook, but it was covered with signs saying that there is an actual section dedicated for eruption viewing. So that is exactly where we are heading right now. When I arrived at the Kanakako'i Overlook, there was a bus tour that arrived as well, and I'm kind of following them right now. So let's see where they take us. And check it out you guys, there was actually an eruption not too long ago, like in the last three years, and it destroyed parts of the paved road right here. That is the reason why we're walking right now. There used to be a time when people could drive all the way to the viewpoint, but now we have to walk. It is crazy to me how real is the threat of an earthquake or an eruption in this area. I don't know, it makes it that much more fascinating. Check that out. Hey there you guys, so we have just arrived here at the Overlook. You can see the tour group that I told you about and I'm happy to report that there is actually lava that you can see from here. I'll show you in a second but I just wanted to mention that because at the visitor center I was told that seeing lava here is a very hit or miss situation, right? Because it depends on three major factors. Whether or not the volcano is producing the lava of course, the time of day, it is easier to see the lava at night or early in the morning, and lastly the weather. I think it's about to rain in less than an hour right now, so we are very lucky that we arrived here at this specific time. Check it out you guys, so there is the lava. It is that small section right there, it is in the Halemaumau crater that we talked about earlier, and at some points you'll see that it lights up in orange and red which is pretty cool so there you go that is a lava right 
there. I think it was amazing that we managed to get over here. It is crazy how good of a vantage point you get from this overlook right here. And I want to show you something really funny. We can actually see the overlook that we visited at the beginning of the video. It is that way. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I'll zoom in in just a second. Check it out, you guys. That in the distance is the Kilauea overlook that we visited earlier in today's video. It is crazy to think that we are literally on the opposite side of the volcano. Let me zoom in slowly and you'll see what I mean. That is so cool and crazy at the same time. And with that, the video comes to an end. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one. And just to remind you to always be kind, have an open mind, I'll see you next time.